It was the following winter that Teddy was diagnosed. And after she'd had the double mastectomy, she was determined to have a good time. In May, she and Rob took a couple of boxes at Glyndebourne and invited the whole crowd down to see Werner Herzog's production of Die Valkyrie. I remember being more than a little bored at the prospect of all that Wagner. The Brookmans came as Valkyries. Teddy was wearing a metallic corset equipped with conical breasts. Splendidly ironic, given how recently her real ones had been removed. The McCluskeys were late and looked like they'd been rowing. Tim Sawa went off to find a corkscrew. Johnny Freeman, Johnny Freeman took me aside and asked me whether I had life insurance. I didn't let him get to me. It was a magical evening. And we all felt that with chutzpah like that, Teddy must be in remission. And then a fortnight later, Jerry McCluskey called. He was beside himself. Hi, Jerry. Jesus, Jerry, that's dreadful. I mustered the necessary compassion. Although I was preoccupied at the time by the suspicion that the builder who was converting my studio was ripping me off. Well, that's not the worst of it. Huh? No, it's Johnny she's gone off with. <laughs> I was surprised when I discovered how grown up they were all being about it. Kathy and Johnny moved into a riverside apartment while the kids stayed with Jerry. Rob, a green drink. <laughs> Go on, I'll put the hairs on your chest. No. <laughs>